But it's really important to understand the role of the trustee and the trustee or capital gains tax solutions is the legal owner of the trust. So there's a few other roles as well to be aware of. Not only are you the creditor and capital gains tax solutions is the trustee, but there's also the role of an attorney. And that attorney drafts all of the legal paperwork and provides the lifetime audit defense for the trust, which is so, so important. Um, the key here is that they're a legal part of the trust, if you will. And then the, the, uh, the trustee is more like the operations of the trust, the overseer of the trust, right? And then you're the creditor. Each are separate as well. We work with third-party banks and, and investment real estate companies as well as financial professionals to help ensure transparency, accountability, and uh, really the opportunity to make sure that everything falls in order. We work with third-party tax preparers that do a tax return, it's a business corporate tax return for each trust. So those are some of the other roles that are involved. So let's define or, or just even dial down even a little bit more now on the trustee. And so understanding the role and responsibilities of the trustee is important. So back to the analogy of a business C Corp tax return where you have you know, a CEO, you have a COO and you have like a CFO. These are all a part of, of corporations. And uh, the way uh, the analogy we put it is you're like the CEO of, of, of the trust. Uh, the trustee is like the COO, the operations. And the financial advisors like the CFO and collectively working together, we're able to execute on the business plan, which is to get your money back plus a rate of return, typically between about six and 9% compounding net of recurring fees, but it just depends on your risk tolerance and in the investments that are chosen. Now, here's a key though, as a CEO, you might think in the traditional sense, well, I get to make the ultimate decision. Well, sort of, um, you have to have approval for investments and for movement of funds. The trustee also has to have approval and the decisions for the movement of funds. In other words, you're working with me as the trustee, uh, with the financial advisor to collectively make uh, uh, decisions. Um, do we have to have the financial advisor to make the financial decisions? No, but they are the securities professional for securities. Uh, a lot of clients go into real estate or other business ventures. And so there's some, there's some flexibility there depending on the, where the investments are made. But essentially you as the note holder, right? And the trustee, myself, we have to work together to make movement of funds. You can't, in other words, make unilateral decisions. And so my role as a trustee is to be like that operations manager of the trust and also with you to make decisions for investments. And that's what keeps the integrity between unilateral control, which means taxable, and a tax deferred, uh, which, which, which you have to give up some control. So it's really important to understand the role of the trustee and the trustee or capital gains tax solutions is the legal owner of the trust, but all of the money is owed back to you. Now these trusts are never commingled in other accounts and there are never any personal business accounts. They actually have their own EIN and their own account. So you have protection and transparency there. Mm -hmm.